printer has sizing issues. Too small, too big, just right. tear out there. I can fix it.
So I sealed the wood. Still not dry yet, but fill in a lot of those little cracks that hopefully that I have. I'll sand this again, maybe give it another coat. Still tacky. And then I have to decide what I'm gonna do with this. It took a lot to carve this. So in lieu of just carving this once, tossing it, hooking it to a log and losing it, I think I might want to experiment with creating a mold and try that. I don't really have any silicone. I wonder if I can get away with using plaster. Cause I kind of like to make this a lipless crankbait, but at the same time, I do want the option of creating lipped crankbaits off of the same design as well. I originally, thought the black and gold would be a lipped uh, crankbait. And then I was gonna do a <clears throat> rainbow type pattern and I was gonna make that one lipless. Taking the plunge number two. I did start another one because I wanted to. So I got the blank, basically, just nice and smooth. But I'm gonna change this and use the uh, other alternate design that I had for this, which with that lateral line is meeting up with the point of the gill. I kinda like that design better. There's the other one. I got a lot of divots to fill in. Hopefully this takes care of that. There we go. Oh, and that's the end of that mold. Well, after a whole lot of chiseling and scraping away at this, I finally got all the stuck plaster off it. I didn't put enough uh, soapy water on there or something. It, it just it stuck to the one side really bad. Popped off the other side, but the one side it was completely stuck to in every crevice. I had to sand away at it and scrape it off. I'm pretty sure I put way too much weight in the belly too. I just kind of tossed it in there. I'm gonna have to be real more, a lot more careful with that in the future and actually count the shot so that I can uh, kind of consistently do this and know when it's gonna sink, when it's gonna float. This sinks um, pretty quick, but at least it stands up on the bottom of the tank. 
Um, but all of the uh, lipless cream meats I have, uh, they all sink, so not necessarily a bad thing. My mold got destroyed in the process of yanking this thing out, so I'm going to have to create a new one if I want to make more of these. Might have to experiment with silicone sometime soon because this uh, plaster of Paris works, but I lose some of the fine detail. I mean, it came out okay, but it, there was a lot of uh, plaster stuck in these cracks, so it lost some of that detail, some of those sharp edges. I mean, it didn't turn out too bad, but it's it's quite pity. There's a lot of pits in it. I may have to fill that in with baking soda and uh, super glue if I want to get that a little smoother, sand it down again. Overall, that job uh, didn't really save me that much time uh, for just doing the wood one because I have to work on this a lot to get it in a paintable condition. I'm new to this. A lot of my uh, lures thus far are not displaying the greatest of action, so I need to experiment before going to the trouble of painting this thing. In the meantime, I started another mold, so have another one going soon, just in case. Time to test. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you gotta keep it underwater. Here, let me see it. It failed. It, it's going sideways. I, uh, it just goes sideways. It gets dragged sideways. It won't go forward. So the problem, pretty sure, is that my weight is not in the front far enough. My, if I move the eye back towards the back of the fish more, then it would then it will probably correct itself a little bit. That means pulling the eye out and re-drilling. Yeah, so at numerous failed attempts at trying to get the eye in the right spot for how much weight I had in the belly, too centered, I would say, I could not get it to work as a lipless, so I ended up just throwing a lip on here. Um, I've screwed up so much on this. Let's paint her. And this is what we're going for. Uh, this is the idea I came up for this. Gold, black, silver on the bottom. Touch of red on the belly. So I'm, I put some paper in there. I'm attempting to block the gold scales from hitting the bottom. I want to put silver scales in the bottom, gold in the top. Let's see if this works. Let's see what happened. Not terrible. Not great either, but not terrible. Of course, I did get some gold down underneath the line. I didn't want to get gold underneath. And here's where I hopefully don't ruin this. I'm gonna try and block this and just get the tiniest black over that gold. A little better. Just 
You don't want to screw up that white belly either. I got most of it. Silver scales are going to go on next, so. That's about it. And, okay, in my original design, I also put a little bit of red on the belly. So, I'm gonna do that. Oh, after I clean the airbrush. Clear coat. Boobie's watching you. <laughs> I see that. He's perched up there just watching. <laughs>